Hello, everybody. It's Sunday, January 26th already. Unbelievable. Almost the end of the month, which means it's time for our end of the month giveaway. Last Sunday of every month, the video goes up. You have 24 hours to respond. Before we get into the details on what's being given away, I have a few things come in this last week. Um, really got busy. Really haven't made a video until Monday. And just a lot of little things here and there and, and no TTMs. So I didn't feel justified in, in throwing up a video for any, any one thing. But uh, I wanted to just do a recap of what I've been getting in. First off, have any of you ever found your birthday card? If you don't know what a birthday card is, and I had never even thought about this or heard about this, but Eric at Those Back Pages did a video oh, probably two months ago where he's just walking around his town. He's walking into Target. He's walking, walking around looking at a new condominium or mall or something being built. And he's talking about his wallet card. And he talked about his birthday card. And what it is, is you take the year you were born and then the numeric representation of your birth month and birthday really only works if you're born, you know, June or prior, uh, maybe July on, on some years. But anyway, basically, that's your birthday card. So I got looking up mine and it turns out I already had it autographed. So this is Bob um, Colucci. I'm not sure, totally sure how to say his name. If I'm saying it right. Um, he's a real estate agent in, I believe, Southern California or somewhere. And he's, um, man, I, I Googled him and looked up some pictures. And he could pass for 40, 45 still. And that's really impressive. But from what I understand, he's a pretty successful real estate agent. So, year I was born, 1974. Here we go. January 24th. So, is this a cheap, pathetic way for me to get uh, belated happy birthdays from you? Yes. Yes, it is. Am I embarrassed that I'm doing that? No, not at all. Not at all. So, a couple other things here. Uh, I got this really cool... Enos Country Slaughter single memorabilia jersey, totally free. This was a, a giveaway from back in the game, Breaks, B-I-T-G Breaks. He's got a rebranding now, so I got to remember, remember the name correctly. But B-I-T-G does breaks on usually at least once on the weekend and then on Wednesday for sure. And I know that because I usually miss that one because of um, something I do at my church. But even if you're not in the break and you come on at the right time, he'll let you in the contest for basically you pick a number and uh, usually one to 200. I picked 91. And then he randomizes one to 200 and closest without going over than <laughs> The number generator gave us 92, so I won basically, um, I don't remember if it was in a pack. Yeah, it was a single, um, anyway, from Sports Kings. They, uh, just like when you buy a blaster now and you're guaranteed a jersey, they put it in a single in a single pack, so it was a single card. But um, the way they did this is really cool because the verbiage doesn't leave any doubt as to that it was actually used actually by him in an actual game. Unlike some of the you know modern game use stuff. You're like, wait a minute, what are they trying to say here? That they event used versus worn by him and not stating that it was in a game or whatever. Anyway, typically not a big, a big uh uh batter jersey guy, but I really like that one. It looks really cool, and that's going to the PC. And also, he knows I'm a Rays fan, so he threw in a couple rookies here. Jose De Leon, Chrome, Jacob Baria. Okay, some other things. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do here first? We'll do the autographs last. So, uh, another Austin Shinton from Donruss Elite Extra Edition. 
This one's numbered to 75. It is the, the die cut version. So that is the uh, blue here, um, status rather. I didn't script my video out, I'm sure you can tell. Now, I know someone that has this card and I'm trying to get his attention. I'm hoping to get it next week, but we'll see. The orange I have incoming. So I've already got a pretty good start on my rainbow here. Um, you know, the golds are gonna be tough to get, but doing pretty well on that. Um, another Brandon Lau I didn't have. Uh, Bowman's Best, I didn't get to open any of them, but I got the Refractor for almost nothing. Probably have 30 to 35 different Brandon Lau rookie cards. Here's another one. This is the Black and White from Topps Heritage 2019, which, sorry, Bowman Heritage, which was an online exclusive this month, this year, after an 11-year hiatus. And uh, Dustin at One Cent Sports Cards, I watched him pull this, and I said, Hey, that would be a great one cent auction, wink, wink. And uh, sure enough, he put it up. And then when he did his preview video, he said, I sure hope the person that asked for this wins it. And so I made it a point to be available on that Sunday. That was two weeks ago to win that. Very happy to, to add that. And lastly, I've been really wanting to get a Tops Clear in just because I had never seen one in person, and I just wanted to add one to my to my collection. And I was looking for a long time at Justice Sheffield, because I don't have any of his certified certified autos, and I've been wanting to get one in. But every one I saw it looked like he used a horribly weak pen. And I just didn't feel good about pulling the trigger on one. Then I looked at some Blake Snells, and he didn't really sign them in the little sweet spot that they... If they make for you, he signed him up on his thigh, and I just thought it didn't look quite right. So then I went back to my boy, Brandon Lau, and was able to get, here we go. Here's your clearly authentic. And uh, I don't know, how many rookies am I up to now? What did I say? I don't know, 35 something. So most of that was Brandon Lau. So that was kind of my week. I just, I have a lot of stuff coming in like this that's... Um, Kind of, I don't want to say low end because this is just what I collect, but um, maybe it doesn't justify, you know, like I got this in one day. I'm not going to do a video for just that. Or I'm not going to do a video for just this, but we can package these things together. Okay, enough rambling on. Let's get to the reason we're here. Clear the deck. Clear the deck. So I didn't get a lot of TTMs this week. Uh, what do we have here? Pool holes one, Robinson two, Vic Corell three, Steve Reed four, Dane Orge five, Frank Tanana six. What I'll probably do is add at least one or two more to each of these, and it might be a another autograph card or it might be a vintage or interesting insert or something just depending on what you like just to kind of fill this out i can send four or five cards in a plain white envelope no problem so you'll be getting hopefully if you win this one of these you'll be getting something you like i think you will so here's what we're doing this month to show me that you want to win this one of these packages you are going to comment below your moment of the decade. We're kind of a, a month late doing this, but I just thought of it. Give me a break. So you're going to look back at the last decade, 2010 to 20 through 2019. You're going to pick the moment that defines baseball for you. Greatest moment, whatever you, you can personalize it to your team. Um, I think that would leave for some more varied responses if I just left it up to, you know, like Major League Baseball, greatest moment, I, I know what I would pick. But if you want it to be to your team, um, whatever, make make it baseball related, Major League Baseball, pro baseball related. And um, we'll take it from there. So I will put a time in the description below. You have until then to comment on this video. Any comment after that time 
does not count. I am giving one free spot to 25 Perez who missed the cutoff by like 15 minutes last week. So I'm having some mercy on him because I actually took down the names kind of prior. Um, anyway, I could have snuck him in. I didn't. So I'm just, I'm giving him a spot, kind of a mercy spot. So comment below your moment of the decade. With that comment, you are entered a uh, random spot. Uh, it will be randomized tomorrow, three winners. And we'll just go bup, bup, bup. And like I said, I'll add to the add to the stack. Moment of the decade. You have about 24 hours. Good luck.